Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner and welcome to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. God, this team tune, it brings back so many memories because this game is a very special game to me because it's how me and my cousin bonded, really, because uh, going back ages ago, I found out a cousin, or I found out that I had a cousin that I didn't know I had, who was into the same things as me. Basically, she was a big gamer and uh, she sent me this game going back uh, Christmas of God knows when, when, whenever this game came out. And we played a lot of multiplayer in it. In fact, um, I'm kind of disappointed multiplayer isn't included in the remastered trilogy. Got kind of a little d disappointing. Either way, I'm not going to get too much into it. She sent me this game. I fell in love with it. It was the first Uncharted game I played. It was my first step into the Uncharted series. Then I went on to play Uncharted 3. Then I went back and played the first Uncharted, which I'd never really played before in full until I got it in 2015, 2016, well, whatever, on the PS3. Either way, point being, this game holds a very special place in my heart, and I do hope you enjoy this series, so let's get into it. Uh, yeah, again, uh, no multiplayer. Is my PS4 making a, an odd sound? Ah, uh, good sweet Christ, it is taking off like a fucking jet engine. Ah, uh, hold on. I hope to God it doesn't break, because I just kind of, sort of, fixed it. As you probably already know of if you watch my previous videos, because uh, it it was overheating. I took it apart, reapplied some thermal paste, boom, it started working again. But I haven't really tried it out properly since then, so I'm not sure how this is going to go, please. PS4 don't die. I'm not sure when I'm getting the PS5. I have a pre-ordered in GameStop, but I'm not getting it on launch, unfortunately. Uh, either way, if I don't get it on launch, I'll probably get it late December, if not early next year. Hopefully, hopefully now, hopefully. Um, not too disappointed by it. I mean, whatever. I have it half paid off, so just gives me more time to put more money towards it and uh, a game or two with it. Maybe an extra controller. Who knows? Anyway, yeah, we're going to start it on normal. Then, in my own spare time, I will play it on crushing, you know, get those good old trophies. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo, on his deathbed, 1324. Uh oh. Okay, now we're getting into the swing of things. Oh god. God damn, Nate. Speaking of getting into the swing of things, hang in there. Okay, chapter one a rock and a hard place. So, this is a bit of a prologue because. Uh, there's a bit of a flashback sequence, but this isn't part of the flashback. This is where we are at currently, or will, or where we will be at currently. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh no! 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 Is it the other way I swing? I forget. I don't have to climb up the train. That's for damn sure. But is it this side I have to go? <gasps> yes, it is this side. I'd have to be quick about it too. Ah, uh, yes, I remember all of this. The memories are flooding back. God. Oh, I have such nostalgia running through my veins now. Oh, my God. Because when I first played this game, I didn't have a high-def TV. I had... Oh, crap. I had ye old CR TV. You know, the big tube TVs. Those big ones. I didn't get a proper or somewhat proper high-definition TV until later on 
and when I when I eventually did, this game looked as stunning as it did in 480p. Because if there's one thing you have to know about these Uncharted games, about any Naughty Dog game, they are so visually impressive and visually immersive. They, 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 they are an absolute godsend. They are a treasure. They should be put up in the Louvre. Don't know how we go about doing that, but I think we should petition this. Okay. There we go. Boom. So far, so good. At least I haven't died yet. Normally, um, I die within two minutes of playing this. Or any, any game. Because death is always inevitable for me. But I best not jinx myself. Let's go for zero deaths in this playthrough. Ooh, <laughs> God. I almost saved my own words. Okay, come on, Nate. Let's do this one last time. <gasps> oh, 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 God. Please don't die. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that to me. I don't want to live in a Nate and Drakeless world. Oh, oh careful, careful. Oh, oh. oh, how do you do that? I mean, there's one thing I really hate, it's heights. I mean, I don't have a phobia of heights, but they do generally make me a bit uncomfortable. Not to the point where I'm squeamish, but to the point where I'm just like, oh, I, I don't want to stand on the fucking ledge of this tall ass building here. In case a gust of wood would blow my fat ass off. Oh, oh, oh come on, come on, come on! <gasps> Jeez. That'd be murder on the fingers! I mean, think about it, you're out in the blistering cold and your body has got to be numb as all frick. And here, here's a flashback. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. That's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. 
so that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters, shelters the, fate the fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Oh yeah, what could possibly go wrong that has you wound up in this mess out in the middle of Siberia? Or some very snowy place. Anywho, we're going to be seeing a lot of this uh, flashbacks, or a lot of these flashbacks, I should be saying. Oh wow. God, this game is as gorgeous as it was on the PS3. Oh god, Naughty Dog, you did a bang up job on this. By the way, um, I'm playing the digital version because I have the physical copy of the uh, remastered trilogy, but I remember before that I had bought the second game on the PlayStation Store when it was something like, I don't know, Fiverr or, or, or something. It was on sale anyway, and I, and I bought it before I bought the actual physical copy. So, uh... Yeah, what, what the hell is that? My frickin... My PS4 is taking off like a jet engine again. Uh, either way, if this uh, video fails, if the PS4 cuts out, I'll still upload it anyway for shits and giggles, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to crowd out the background sound of my PS4. I've no idea why it's taking off like a jet engine n now. It's odd. Like, I put a new thermal paste on the CPU. Um shouldn't be like this unless it's just because the gr the grain the game is so uh rapidly intense is that the right term i'm looking for but jeez my ps4 should not be like this it's weird why are you doing this to me ps4 and it, it's not like it's in a, an enclosed area it's below my desk here there's plenty of air there's not even there's not even blocking it So, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Worst comes to worst, uh, the PS4 totally craps out me. What I will end up doing, probably, is once I get my PS5, I'll continue this. But hopefully, hopefully my PS4 will last, because I don't want to buy another one. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. Be because uh, the PS4, as it is, it's still like 300 euro to buy. And that's for the base edition. Speaking of which, it's actually hard to find uh, a any type of PS4 that's below 300 euro nowadays. Regardless, because when I was looking at Smiths and GameStop, they're only selling right the 500 gigabyte model for some reason. Oh, okay, fine. Time to get into the action. Oh, god damn! Damn, son, you got wrecked. Anywho, back into the game, just as sturdy as I remember it. Wait, has my PS4 quietened down? Okay, it has. Right. Good job, PS4. You, you keep cool down there. As cool as you can be. So, I will try and edit out the 
jet engine if I can without it affecting the overall quality of the commentary. Although that, that by itself could uh, use more than a bit of a polish, if you know what I mean. Because, <laughs> you know, I am getting a bit tongue-tied here. And, uh, yeah, I will be going back and forth between Uncharted 2 and House Slipper. And I'll see if I can finish off The Last of Us Part 2 as well. I've yet to finish that off. Again, uh, the disk drive, the PS4 is broke as well. So I have to try and fix that as well. Two. What's going on? Oh! Jesus, man, talk about getting absolutely slammed. So much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just... disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's... gonna be pissed. He's... gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Okay, and as I recall, I do recall, there was a bit of a thing between Chloe Fraser, Fraser, whatever you want to call it, or her, 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 bleh, whatever you want to call her, Fraser, Fraser, however you pronounce it. So yeah, they, they were bumping bums at one point. Very nice, very nice to know. You know, trying to keep the language here PG-13 because apparently uh, YouTube was founded on the basis of having family friendly family oriented content way back in 2000 and clickety click. I'm being sarcastic here of course I'm ma making a bit of a, a quip about how censorious YouTube has become within the past two or three years. You can't curse, you can't swear, you can't be, be yourself. You have to make family friendly content because as we all know, YouTube, from day one, since uh, the day of its inception, was meant for, you know, we toddlers, we little kiddies. Yes, that's what it was always meant for, of course, of course. That was the target demographic. Okay, but seriously, back into the game, we fell flat on our face. But we're still going strong, and so is the fan of my PS4. God, what is wrong with it? You 
sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax? <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodden key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? We figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. You sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Okay, we're already on chapter two. Um... I kind of want to call it a video here because I've been playing for 20 minutes. I want to keep it kind of short. Uh, I think what I'll play Have for. You the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? Uh, no, I, no, I, 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 I don't. I, I don't like dank sewer water anywhere on my body. No. Ugh, I, that's a, that's a weird thing to say. It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Again, I, I love all Nate's uh, uh, quips, as I'll call them. It's what makes him a very likable and relatable character. I mean, to be honest, in any sort of adventure game like this, the character needs to be a bit. Uh, oh wait, this can't be right. Oh what? Must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Really? Anyway, yeah, the character needs to have a bit of humor. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that? will take us right into the boiler room. And from there, we're in. Okay. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. I don't want to get it either. Other than uh, it's it kind of rhymes. Is that is that is that what you you mean? Here in like comes. Flynn. Thanks. Just a little uh, rhymey roo. Is that it? Almost there. You ready? No guts, no glory. Oh, no, 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 no. Go up, go up, go up. I, why, why, why? There you go. Here we go. We're good. Still questioning on whether I should end the video here or not. Um, 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 you know, I, I will, I, I, I will have made up my mind, I'll end the video here. No, it's kind of short, no, I didn't get, um, I know I didn't get a lot done here. We only played the prologue, we're only just getting into the meat of it, as it were. 
maybe I'll make the next video longer. I just want to keep them short just to see how that impacts on viewership because I'm still, still, still working on my plan to put out two videos a day for a week straight and just uh, changing the variety of games on my channel. I finished Dead Rising, I've started House Flipper, I'm starting Uncharted 2 r right now. Depending on uh, how this all goes, I may end up calling it quits, or who knows, videos might be as frequent. <laughs> frequent. Jeez, what the hell. Um, yeah, but after this, after the week, after uh, the week is up, don't expect videos to be two a day. They'll probably trickle down to one a day. So I'm just kind of building up a bit of a backlog here. I've almost got 14 videos done. This is my, what, uh, 12th? video I think I think I need to do two more after this uh, Dead Rising is 10 parts I'd have to check I have to check the files on my computer yeah yeah Dead Rising is 11 parts or sorry 10 parts and uh, House Flipper is video number 11 that'll be going in between some of those videos because I don't want to do 10 videos consistently of Dead Rising. I want to sort of space them up so I might record more House Slipper and of course Uncharted to put between each Dead Rising episode. So it's going to be something like uh, Dead Rising, uh, Dead Rising, House Slipper, Dead Rising, Uncharted, Dead Rising, Uncharted. Y you get the gist. I just don't want to completely flood my channel with the one game series at a time because. It I think that would bore people, to be honest. Anywho, enough talk. If you did enjoy this video, by some freaking miracle, because uh, it's been a while since I've recorded between the last video and this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and of course, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.